niggas say they on me. Get a green and they say they on me. He'll cake go from one to three. He'll cake got a need for speed. Pushing that cake, yeah, I'm feeling my Z. Getting them blues, I turn to a V. None of these dudes ain't fucking with me. Pushing that hell can't pass my Z. Crash go by me another one. Run up on me, I got hell of one. Get money, I got hell of fun. Big bird, we got hell of one. Clear as a metal goes home, bro. Border is red like a bro. Hell can't come through, better move. Hell can't go through, so. Hey, mother game, man. It's your boy, my man. Back with another video, back with another banger, back with one of the dopest videos you ever seen in your life, man. So today is gonna be a lot, lot different. I got light right here. I don't know. But no, nope, I'm like, bam! Y'all stand me? Hold on, all right, wait. Two seconds, two seconds. All right, bam. Oh, turn ahead a little bit, turn ahead a little bit, turn ahead a little bit. Bam, we back. All right, man. So what's happening? Man, this hat messed up, bro. Yeah, buddy. Running like a big shot. Chevy tuned up like a nail car pit stop. All right, man. So what's happening, man? So uh, today is officially uh, Thanksgiving. So um, first and foremost, for everybody that actually celebrates Thanksgiving, happy holidays to you. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this time, man. Enjoy this time to get some good food in your system. Uh, enjoy this time to be around your family, man. Get some good laughs in. Because trust me, it's going to be a very, very funny time. So get some good laughs in. If you don't celebrate the holidays, more than likely, you, you probably, probably, maybe, depending on where you work, you're probably off today. So go ahead and, if you ain't off, enjoy it anyway, because you don't get holiday pay. As long as you worked yesterday and then you work the day after tomorrow. You understand me? So long as you work them day, you'll get your holiday pay. So at least enjoy that. You feel me? Take it for what it is, man. I don't, I don't, let me, this, this whole video that I'm making is basically a, Thanksgiving one-on-one -on -one for black people. Now this may be for other races, but for what I know, mainly this happens in black people households. Like, so I know a lot of people are like, oh man, I don't, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Black people don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we just celebrate the fact of being around family and having a reason to cook and eat. So like the fact of, oh, Thanksgiving is for the pilgrims and the Indians and all, we don't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? We here for the turkey, the ham, the big mama making the pound cake and chest pie, and Amy got the best macaroni and cheese, and we gonna get it during holiday season. So that's the only thing we care about. We don't care about no, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, even on Christmas, it's the same thing. It's the reason to be around family and eat good. Like, we don't care about the whole fact of, uh, oh, well, you know, uh, this is the day that Jesus was born, and I, Bro, for the kids, is we getting Christmas gifts. For the adults, hey, they, we finna be around our family, we finna eat good and all that kind of good stuff. So let me explain this to y'all. Let me explain this to y'all. Um, for the people that only, I'm trying to find the best way to, to place it. So if you if you are not, you know, what I'm saying black and you and you just Maybe you got a black girlfriend or boyfriend you plan on going, excuse me, and you plan on going with them for the holidays this year for, to Thanksgiving. I'm going to give you a couple of tips and a couple of things to be aware of. Maybe you, 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 maybe your family mixed and you getting ready to go to, you know what I'm saying, your, your black family side. You feel me? I'm going to give you some tips. Well, come on, like if you black, you've already been through this. Unless you like, I don't know, maybe you got like a bougie side of your family and then you ain't really been to your hood, family, Thanksgiving for. I'm gonna give you some tips as well. But if you black, you want, I don't know, bro. We just born with this. I don't know. It's like when your parents was born with you, they gave you your name and the doctor handed you your black card and that's what had everything in it. That we just we just know, that's just how it go. Like eating black eyed peas on New Year's Eve. I don't know. It's just good luck. We don't know why it's good luck. Cause we don't know. It's just a black person, black people's good luck. I don't know. Well, anyway. So, first thing for and the reason why I'm I'm even bringing this up because I'd had this happen to me, as far as like having friends, you know, to come through the you know the, the cookout or whatever the case is, and just seeing it in general. You know what I'm saying? Cause you had a cousin that brought home a different race 
like spouse or friend. They be like, okay, who is that? Okay, such and such. And they kind of be like, uh, you know, because they don't know what to expect. I'm going to tell you what to expect. So there is no confusion. I just made a full live on, about on my Instagram. You can see that I am King Mouth. Full live. But for y'all, because it's big on here, I got to explain this to y'all too. Now I'm going to give it to you where the rubber meets the road. The best way I know how to explain it. When you come to holiday season, right? Thanksgiving is your first big holiday. Then it's Christmas. Then it's New Year's. First jump off there is no breakfast so let's just get a clear understanding there ain't no breakfast on thanksgiving day ain't no breakfast ain't no breakfast ain't no lunch you get your gatorade or water or you get you something to drink maybe a pack of peanuts something like that to hold you over until six o'clock so reason why i say six o'clock that's not the original time now what's gonna happen is when yo, when this comes to the holiday season and stuff like that, whoever is the head of the household, like where the party gonna be at, they gonna basically tell everybody, hey, everybody know. And again, I don't know how people know. It's just a thing. People, like you just know. I don't know why. We just know. Everybody know who house the party gonna be at. So everybody call two days ahead. And said, so, so what time? What time? We, what time? We come by. What time? Food gonna be ready? Three o'clock. Three thirty. Three o'clock. Three thirty. Every, everybody gonna say three o'clock, three thirty. Do not come at three thirty. If you come at three thirty, you didn't wait. You can't wait too early. If they say be there at three o'clock, come two hours later. Because even from then, you still got an hour to wait until it's time for the food. Now, got that part. So, with that being said, again, back to the first point. Ain't no breakfast. Breakfast is gone. Ain't no, we're not eating breakfast. We ain't doing no breakfast. We ain't doing no lunch. You're going to starve until 6 o'clock. The reason why I say 6 o'clock, by the time you get to, you know, Big Mama House, it's about 5, 15, 5, 30, something like that. You're not going to start eating probably about 6, 15, 6, 30, probably 6, 45, something like that. Okay? So, boom, you didn't, you didn't eat. You didn't eat. You didn't eat. Now, before I move forward, let me explain to y'all about the food. Boom, food come, food here. This is what you, this is what you want to do, and this is what you don't want to do. When you come to whoever house it is, right? Let's just say this, y'all can't see it. Okay, cool, don't worry about it. Let's just say it's a table right here, right? At every black household, there is a table that Nobody eats on unless it's a holiday. And even then, you don't eat on it. It's just where the food is set up at. You understand me? So, boom, we got the food, right? This is what you want to do first. I'm going to tell you why. When you first come into there, and after they done said grace, because grace is going to last about 45 minutes to an hour long. I don't know why. I don't know. Grace is going to be long. By the time you get done with grace, everybody go eat. This they won't say the kids go eat first. Okay, kids get their first pick. Boom. What you want to do? Your first plate. Don't eat that plate. Do not eat that plate. Don't eat the plate. That is your plate. That's your to-go plate. You understand me? That's your to-go plate. You're going to go around and put, boom, 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 boom. You're going to go around the table, boom, boom, boom. Put that plate up. All you got to do, hide that plate somewhere. And then if you want to, you can put it in the refrigerator. But it's probably, it's a, it's a, it's a high likely chance it's going to get found in the refrigerator. High likely chance. So if you want to test it out and see how what kind of family you got, get you a couple slices of cake. Not, not, don't make a big plate. Get just a couple slices of cake, maybe like two pieces of ham or turkey, whatever you eat, and you put that in the refrigerator. Something you don't really care about. Like you want it, but you ain't, you ain't, if it's gone, you don't really care about it. Put that in the refrigerator because it's probably going to get found. You understand me? You don't want to be mad. Then you make your good plate. Hide that, but hide it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not talking about in the refrigerator. Put it in the laundry room 
know what I'm saying? Me on top of the dryer, or under the detergent, or something like that. Anywhere, put it in the bathroom, under the sink, next to the soap, and stuff like that, and surround it by some good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Me? I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Because a lot of y'all gonna be confused. This is what you wanna do. Because everybody wants seconds. Because you, with black households, the cooks in your family, you only gonna see them around the holiday. The, the, before the holidays and after the holidays, you eating regular stuff, McDonald's, fast food, going to spend the money, you know what I'm saying? Unless your spouse cooking. But it's just like you be wanting Big Mama macaroni cheese and your Annie chest pie and, you know, your papa to cook the, you know, deep fry the best turkey and, you know, you're going to get the ham from such and such. So you only going to get that once a year. One time a year. Well, not two times because you can get it for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. But other than that, I mean, them, them the gifts, you might well kept this one. So for the rest of the year, you ain't going to get that good food no more. So everybody be wanting to get they get that food in and you didn't you didn't starve yourself the whole day for this moment so you don't want to just uh get it one time you want to have it more and more so if you go and you get your regular first your regular food first and you eat that first plate by the time you go back for seconds everything is gone everything is gone the only thing will be left is that macaroni and cheese that your that your cousin really can't she really can't cook she just made it you know what i'm saying because her boyfriend just got out of jail, and so he don't know nothing but jail food, so anything good to him, so she thinks she can cook, you understand me? And then your 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 other Amy, really ain't your blood Amy, she just married it to the family, you know what I'm saying? She done make, you know, potato salad, but they ain't good, so that's gonna be there. You may get, a, you gonna get the last piece of the turkey that don't, too many people really don't want, you know what I'm saying? A couple slices of ham, something like that. All the dessert and cake and pies, all that's gone, it's over. The cake, don't even look for the cake. Don't look for the cake. All the cake is gone. Every cake, every cake and pie in the house is gone. Everything is gone. You understand me? So that's what I'm saying. You go and get your reserves first, so that you can you can for sure have with you. But you gotta move fast. You can't be taking what I said. Because if you get your food, boom, 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 you get your food, boom, 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 right? You're gonna sit down and you're gonna be eating and talking and drinking and eating and talking and drinking. So by the time you get back up, oh, grin, that was good. Let me say, get some more. We ain't, we ain't got no more uh, 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 macaroni and cheese? No, nah, baby, we only got Cousin Tracy macaroni and cheese. I don't want that. So that's what I'm saying. Go on, pack your plate, boom, boom, boom. Hide it somewhere. Run to the car, put it in the car, something like that, and then come back, boom, then you make your plate. You understand me? Okay, so now y'all know what to do with that. Moving on. Moving on to the games, to after the food festivities. You don't have your drinkers and your smokers that's gonna be there. Pick your poison. You either drink, smoke, or don't do nothing. I'm, I'm the I'm the don't do nothing person. So I be scoping everybody. I'm scoping everybody. I'm chilling. Cause that time that's like that's like a that's like your like that's like your, your halftime show. That's your halftime show. Now most of the time your smokers, they're gonna already be high before they come to the house. You understand me? You're gonna have them, they're gonna smoke before they get to the house so they can eat, and then they're gonna smoke right after they eat. You understand me? So you, you got that. Your drinkers, they're not going to drink until after they eat because everybody know you can't drink on the empty stomach. They'll mess you up. I don't even drink it, I know that. So, you know what I'm saying? You know. So, after they drink, after the shortly after the little halftime show break, whatever you want to call it, is the games. Let me let me explain the games because this, this is important. This is important. Let me explain the games to y'all. When you go and you play the games, it's gonna be two games getting played in every black household. If, if, if you black, you already know what they is. I ain't gotta tell you. But for the people that maybe just may not know and may need to know anyway, spades is gonna get played, dominoes is gonna get played. That's for sure. For sure. Now you yeah, Uno depends on if the kids wanna play. But nine times ten, the kids can't even be in the same room as the kids gonna be in their own room. Kids, Randy gonna put the kids, all the kids, every kid is gonna be in the back room. So all the kids, they can't even be in the once they come here, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you arrive with your kids, hey, hey, baby, but that, you know what I'm saying? Granny you should you know, you was, you know, you was real little when Granny said, you know, you growing up, never, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Eat all kids back room. Cause everybody, all, all grown folks know it's finna go, it's finna go down. The real game has just started. You understand me? Everybody that ain't, everybody that's seen each other, the real game has just started. 
Now the war didn't start. Really, the war gonna start before that, but we gonna get to that. So all the kids gotta be in the back room. So really ain't gonna be no Uno. You spades and dominoes. Let me tell you this. And I'm gonna say this with all sincerity in my heart. If you've never played dominoes or spades, Thanksgiving is not the time for you to learn. You to miss the season, practice during the off season, you come back for the game on the next holiday. But Thanksgiving ain't the time for you to let me learn how to play. I'm gonna tell you why. Cause if you think you can learn how to play spades during Thanksgiving and you do something that costs your team to lose, and they're not ready, you know, cause your aunties and your grannies and your, you know what I'm saying, your mama, your females, all of them gonna be on the spades tables. All of them, all the females gonna be on the spades tables. And they're gonna, they gonna have that liquor in them. They may not be drunk, but they'll have a little buzz. So then, you know, everybody know when you get a little liquor in your system, you kind of feel yourself, your true feelings come out, all that kind of stuff gonna come out. So you get on that space table trying to learn how to play and you miss a book or cut your partner. Oh my God. For that night, you done got this home from the family. Now, this is a good thing about, you know what I'm saying, black families. That's what I'm saying. If you're, if you're not used to this, don't be alarmed. Whatever happened on Thanksgiving night, it, it never happened. It never happened. You understand me? Because the next day, everybody back good. So that one's, don't be, oh my goodness, you just lost your family. No, 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 no. That's for that night. You disown for that night. Everybody know, next day, y'all back, and you back to being whoever you was before the spade game. You understand me? So don't be alarmed by that. So boom, check me out. Boom. So y'all in there. You playing spade, boom, 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 spade's going on. Domino table. All the fellas on the domino table. You know what I'm saying? Now you gonna get that one Amy that, that talk a lot of noise that can that, but she can play dominoes. She's gonna be over there. She's gonna be balanced between spades and domino. You gonna get you gonna get that one dude that can he, he can he, he can kind of play both. He's gonna be balanced between spades and spades and domino. But most of the time, for the most part, fellas on dominoes, ladies on spades. Like I said, it, 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 it go over, it, it kind of go both ways though. But for the most for the majority, when it pop off. Fellas on the spade, on the dominoes, ladies on the spades. You understand me? It's gonna be a lot of gambling going on on the domino table. It's gonna be a lot of noise talking being made on the spades table because you know women gonna get drunk and be tipsy and they talking about, yep, I cut you. Yep, just like you cut your baby daddy the other day. A lot of that gonna be going on, so don't be alarmed. Just understand what I'm saying. Be prepare yourself for these kind of things. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And I'm gonna tell, I'm telling you now, it's gonna happen. Boom. After that, everybody going to be up dancing and partying, you know what I'm saying, me, and partying, and, you know what I'm saying, having a good time. Everybody dancing, everybody dancing. You're going you gonna to play spades from, after you eat, it's going to be about 7.30. By the time you get done eating, everybody ate their seconds and stuff like that, it's about 7.30. So from 6 to 7.30, you eat. You own, you own the, you know what I'm saying, everybody to pick their poison now on spades, you ready to watch TV, you sit there laughing, talking, and you're still drinking, you're still smoking, you know what I'm saying, or you got the, you gonna have to, you know, the little dance off, all because your cousin got drunk by now, so they dancing. They have a real life dance off on the floor. Then you got the domino players. That's gonna last for about three, four hours. So now you're looking at probably about twelve o'clock in the morning, creeping up on one. Around this time, the people that do the Black Friday shopping, they done all loaded up in one car or one truck, basically. <laughs> Boom! Everybody, all them going to Walmart. You understand me? So now they they going to Walmart for a minute. So they not gonna probably get back to for another hour, so about two o'clock in the morning. So everybody gonna be at the house by two o'clock in the morning. All you younger people like your mid-30s to your mid-20s, they little range right there, they trying to go out. They still trying to go out. So they probably gonna leave the house probably by like, uh, they'll probably leave the house probably about 12 o'clock in the morning, something like that, head to a club, you feel me? Something like, around that time frame, but Trying to let y'all know, trying to put y'all up on game so y'all can understand what to do and what not to do. So don't be discouraged when you hear a lot of a lot of noise time going on. It's it just talk. It's just like when fellas play basketball. You know what I'm saying? Me, you know, somebody fast you, oh man, you I right, keep family, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to drop you. But after the game, man, yeah, it's all love, brother. You know what you're doing. This is basketball. Same scenario, same thing. It's Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? Because this is your black people don't see their family year round. You can't, I, and I don't know if we different, but black families can't deal with each other 
year round because there's too much drama going on. So we can't deal with each other year round. So we deal with each other Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. That's it. You get a text message on your birthday because your granny just got a phone. And so she's still learning how to work her little old smartphone. So on your birthday, somebody that put the whole family in a group message on. And so now everybody birthday, oh, it's such a birthday, you get a whole bunch of text messages. And your granny just found out about emojis, so she put a bunch of random emojis. So she happy that she know what emojis is. So she just, I, I can show y'all my, I'm telling you, I'm not lying. <laughs> so we don't do each other year round. So when we get around each other for these, you know, specific holidays, it goes down. It goes down. So it's gonna be a lot of noise talking. You know what I'm saying? I mean, half the women got drama that they they couldn't wait for the holidays so they can spill the beans and all that kind of stuff. And girl, you know Tracy, she on her third baby daddy. Yeah, I, and they oh well, you know Jamal, them really ain't even his kids. I tried to tell him, but you know that girl trifling. All oh, that's finna go on. You understand me? All oh, that's finna go on during this whole thing. But that's what I'm saying. It's going to be some custom going on, but it's all good. It's all good because after the holidays, we all back to being everybody cool. And it's going to, same thing going to play next time. It just next year, it just may not be on, you may not be the one getting talked about. But you, I can help you to prepare. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a little too late right now because Thanksgiving is today. But I can help you to prepare for next Thanksgiving. Or at least I can help you prepare for Christmas. Because it's going to happen the same way during Christmas. Christmas is that exact same scenario. Just the time changes. You just come to Granny's house a little bit earlier because she wanted to pass out all her gifts. She done bought all the, all the kids in the family sweaters that she done bought from Walmart because they was on sale. So you go and give everybody, she don't want, she want to give everybody they, they presents. You understand me? When you, when you go, it's just what it is. It's just what it is. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just what it is. So, boom. Let's backtrack a little bit. Let's backtrack a little bit. So, when I said there's no breakfast, right? Ain't no breakfast. You starve until it's time to eat at whatever house you're going to. Now, this is the thing. A lot of people, I'm, I, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions. How can you, you understand me? How you gonna not eat from, 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 from now, from the time you wake up? Cause you gonna wake up early. I don't know what it is. Holidays just make you get up early in the morning. So you're gonna get up probably by 10, 30, maybe 11, and you know, some, some around that time. So. You don't get up, right? You don't wake up. How am I supposed to last from 11 o'clock to 5.30 before I can eat? This is what you do. This is what you do. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. I'm going to show you what you're going to do. What you do. Get you something to drink. I got my lemonade. Get your water, Gatorade, whatever can kind of hold you over. Now, I'm going to tell you why you're not going to even think about it. If you do this the right way, I'm going to tell you why you're not going to even think about, dang, I got to wait this long to eat. Ain't even going to be on your mind. Ain't going to be on your mind. And I'm going to tell you why it ain't going to be on your mind. Because you only see your family basically for one season, which is the holiday season, all your family that you really don't see often is going to be there. Uncles, aunties, cousins, you understand me? All of them going to be there. So they not they ain't seen you all year until this point. So whatever you done done all year is going to come out during the holiday because whoever doing whatever is going to come out. Oh, you know such and such been doing this? Yeah, 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 I seen that. Oh, you, you know such and such been doing this? Yeah, he just ain't going to get it right. All this coming out, all of that is coming out during the holiday season. That's, I don't know. It, it happens. Boom. So let's, let's let's move. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. So this is your time to prepare yourself properly for when it's time to go to war because it is what it's going to be. It's going to be a war. Prepare yourself with the proper equipment. This is your time to think about what you're going to wear. Give you time to run to the mall because mall will open. It. I think mall mall usually open at like ten ten thirty. On high days, if they're only opens on uh, like 11, close it like 6 or something like that. So this is your time to get together your outfit, what you're going to wear. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear that. I'm not going to wear this. I know I can't wear that. I'm going to wear this. Put your best together. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're going and looking like a fool, soon as you hit that door, 
Hey, nephew, you show, you all right? You know what I mean? Your aim is going to be, you should, now you know you should have worn some bigger pants than that. You know them pants is too small. Oh, you didn't want to iron your shirt for, oh, that's going to happen as soon as you walk in the door. Because, like, again, your family ain't seen you until now. And this is, the, this is their first impression of you throughout the whole year. You understand me? So this, you got to come correct. So during this time, you preparing your equipment for what you're going to wear. I'm going to put this together. I'm going to put that together. Can't wear that. Got a little crease in the shoe. That still got a stain in it. Can't wear that. Give you time to run to the store, the mall, or whatever. Boom. You get your outfit together. Now you out, you next to the, you on to the next part of, uh, of preparing yourself. Who you going to bring? Who you going to bring? That's everything. Who you going to bring is everything. I, I don't like that at all. Because who you going to bring is everything. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I'm gonna, let me explain this to you. When you come to the cookout, as a man and or woman, that's your time to shine. Because like I said, you're only going to see them for one season. So you need to come with, with the, with, you know what I'm saying? You got to come with, you got to bring that thunder when you come in there. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, you got to come prepared. You feel me? So who you going to bring says a lot about who you are for that moment anyway. It, it, for the moment, it, it, what's what it, it do. It say a lot about who you are. So, for the fellas, fellas, you know. You, you, fellas, you know. Women, I'm pretty sure the same scenario. But fellas, you know. When you say, hey, I'm going to bring this girl with me, look her up and down in your head because she probably, hopefully she ain't already weeks to where you, to where you came. So, pray, that's, you know what I'm saying? I mean, prepare yourself. Go on her Instagram. Look her up and down. And be honest with yourself. Can you bring her to the cookout? Now, if you don't believe that, come on. Bam. Let's say you bring somebody that ain't, ain't all that put together. You like a great personality. So you, she beautiful. But you know, to the other eye, she may not be all that. Okay? You walking in with your lady. Boom. You going to get talked about. It just is what it is. Hey, nephew, you all right? You okay? You sure got your linebacker with you. You know what I mean? You don't get talked about. You don't get talked about. You don't get talked about. You are going to get talked about. Now, this is how you know you did good, fellas. You already know. I ain't even got to explain it, fellas. You know. As soon as you bring her in, boom, she look good. First thing your uncle going to say, damn, nephew, that's you? If you hear that, you, you did good. You done done good. You done done what you supposed to. You done did good. You done done good. You know, and same way with the female. Bring somebody raggedy in there. First of all, your uncles and your brothers are gonna check them anyway, so they get to the door. Hey man, I don't even like your shoes, fool. I like your shoes. You tough? Boy, you ain't tough. Go on, go sit down. You know what I mean? He gonna get he gonna get hit by the he gonna get hit by your you know what I mean? because your uncle and your cousin they already protected you. So he, he gonna get hit so he as soon as he comes to the door, he getting hit. Ain't just it. They can tell you what it is. So your best bet is to make sure he come. At least he look nice. You understand me? Cause he if he if he comes to the door, he don't look nice. He gonna get hit anyway. And on top of that, and they gonna talk about him. So now he don't wanna come around your family no more. Man, I don't like come around your uncles and brothers. They they, they too they do too much. But nah, they just hurt his feelings because he ain't coming there looking presentable. You understand me? So he got the ladies. Y'all know y'all. Hey, you gotta come with me because y'all get y'all say. I just is what it is. Is what it is. Now, boom. So now, I I just gave y'all the 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 one on one of what to do and what not to do for Thanksgiving. So by the time you didn't plan out who you gonna bring with you, you ain't worried about eating because you now everything playing your mind. Like, I I know my I know my drunk Andy gonna be there. You see, I know my I know my my, my uncle Uncle Troy he gonna be there. And your Uncle Troy, that's not really your uncle. That's really your first cousin or your second cousin, but he the uncle to everybody in the family. Every black person got that. Every, every black every black family didn't do that. You got an uncle that's really not your uncle. It's really your cousin, but it's uncle to the whole family. That all Everybody knows that's Uncle Troy. That, that's really your cousin, but that's everybody call him Uncle Troy, so that's Uncle Troy. His kids even call him Uncle Troy. You understand me? That's just what it is. I don't know. Black people do. We do that. We do that. So you got your uncle Troy over there, you know what I'm saying? Your ain't she that's really not your auntie. She really not, she really afraid of the family, but she just has been around so long, so that's that's 
They, you know, that's Aunt Shirley over there. You understand me? All that kind of stuff gonna go down. So don't be alarmed if whenever you go to this, to this, to this black family cookout, black reunion, black Thanksgiving dinner, don't be alarmed. I just gave you the free game. Use it wisely. You understand me? Hopefully I can prepare y'all. Like I said, if you if you ain't, if you don't play no spray, don't get on that table. Don't get on that table. You're gonna, you're gonna get your feelings hurt. Now, don't be sensitive and try to act like you don't want to talk to them the next day because then they really going to talk about you. Because uh, trust me, everything will be good. It's just for Thanksgiving, they don't rock with you no more for the rest of the Thanksgiving party. But after that, y'all back, everything back good. So, I hope I gave y'all a free game and I hit y'all out. So, enjoy your holiday, man. Have fun, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all got a good, happy Thanksgiving from Miles Game himself. You feel me? So, enjoy it. Have fun. Enjoy the family. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the last. Like I said, Black... I don't know what it, if it is with other races, but Black family, we always see each other around the holiday season. So we got to enjoy it. You know what I mean? We ain't got no choice. So there's going to be a lot of laughs going on around here, man. But I love y'all, man. Peace. Mm -hmm.